Hello and welcome to DPA Product of the Year. I'm very pleased to have Mr. Kyle Thompson of Thompson with me today, uh, who's going to be talking to us about the 7th Axis Collaborative Robot. Kyle, you have three minutes to influence our readers as to why this should be the DPA Product of the Year. Kyle, it's over to you. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. So Kyle here, I'm the Robotics Automation Manager for Thompson Linear, a Regal Rexnord company. I'm going to talk to you about our collaborative seventh axis. So a seventh axis generally is going to move a six axis robot. So that's why you're going to hear the term seventh axis. You might hear it be called a, uh, an external track, an auxiliary axis, a linear track. Uh, and really, when we set out to do this uh, project 18 months ago, we really wanted to see to extend the collaborative nature of this robot. So if you look at other seventh axis out on the market, you put your hand in the way, it's not going to stop. You lose that collaborative feature of the, that robot, but not with ours. So, so if this seventh axis comes at us, we're actually going to make it stop. So we've really extended that collaborative nature uh, of the robot onto the linear rail, right? So that means uh, if you put your hand in it, uh, an impediment, we're going to do a stop on our seventh axis and also send that to the robot uh, as well. And just like a robot, it's a sensitivity that the user can adjust, just like you can do uh, with the cobot arms. So we've, again, we've extended that collaborative functionality of the robot. We've also, and we considered it, uh, built in the functionality, just like a robot has a free drive mode, you could teach it points. We can do the same with our seventh axis, put it into a free drive mode, teach a linear point, save it on your teach pendant, make it really easy to, to program, right? So all this in a single package where we put together the linear actuators, the motor, the drive, the gearhead, limit switches, your cable management. It's a single part number. So as an engineer, you can work with us. You tell us the stroke length you need to go. You tell us the robot size you're going to work with. And we can put together a whole entire seventh axis package. So you're not doing design, uh, a ton of CAD work, designing parts that fit together, hardware. It comes all from us, right? Um, uh, applications where this is, this works great, testing and inspection, robotic welding, automotive assembly, or machining, uh, excuse me, machine tending multiple machines. So you got one, two, three, four machines lined up, single robot. Let's extend that reach with our collaborative seventh axis uh, and and improve the ROI of your, your robot purchase. So, um, so Andrew, that's what we wanted to talk about today, extending the collaborative nature of the robot with our collaborative seventh axis. That's really strong. That's really strong. Thank you very much, Carl, for what you've described there. Now, if you've enjoyed listening to what Carl has been explaining about this, you can find out more on the link that we post below, but also as well, this is DPA Products of the Year. So in order for this video to get the most views, please like, comment, and share, uh, because your views will ultimately make this the Products of the Year. Thanks very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.